Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a full face of Timu makeup dupes. Now I know some of you guys have a few things to say about Timu, but it's just fair enough, but I already ordered this stuff like a while ago and I figured I may as well throw it on my face, see what's good. And like I said, there are a ton of potential dupes. We've got like, this is like the Halo Glow. It's like kind of duping the Elf one, which is duping the Charlotte Tilbury. So it's a dupe of a dupe. We have like, MAC dupes. We've got a couple that aren't dupes, like this little spinny powder. Don't know what this is, but I was intrigued. Um, and yeah, there's a few different, I'm gonna say the word again, dupes. We need like a little dupe counter. That's probably, we're probably on like 27 now, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw out my face, see what's good. And yeah, I definitely think the foundation and concealer situation is gonna be a lot lighter and I'm pretty fake tanned up right now, so we might need to go ham with the bronzer. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Let's get into the video. So I've already moisturized my skin and also used my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops maybe like an hour or so ago. So I don't really have a primer. I'm just gonna get straight in with my brows. So this is called, I'll put all of the names of everything on screen and the prices because I cannot remember how much everything was, but it was, as you can probably imagine, hella cheap. This is the Handayan Eyebrow Styling Wax, which is obviously a little potential dupe for the ABH Brow Freeze. Oh God, oh no, oh. Ah, okay, wait. This is actually a lot thicker and I've got Michael screaming at my door outside. So I feel like I'm, I'm under pressure. One second, Michael. Okay, I just needed a slightly stiffer spoolie. That one was not cutting it. That feels like it's gonna really stick everything down. Like that feels like thicker than the brow freeze. Michael is literally attacking my door. One moment, please. Hello, brat. Yes, come on in. Come and do my eyebrows. As you guys know, I think I have it here. Um, where is it? This stuff, the Unleasha brow gel is basically like a dupe for the Refi um, brow sculpt. I love this stuff. It's like two or three pounds and I'm obsessed with it. So maybe team we have a thing going on where their brow products are dope. Cause this seems really, really good as well. It feels like it's got way more hold than the ABH one and like all the other dupes that I've come across. This looks really good, I'm into this. I hope they stay like that, because if we do, we might have a, another little Timu brow product to add to the list of favorites. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with this stuff here, the Lake Rain Halo Glow Liquid Face Filter. I don't know what shade I have it in, but if I can figure it out, I will let you know, but I don't know if it actually tells me. So similar sort of situation, you all know the drill. This is very dark, so I'm just gonna focus it on like the areas I would normally bronze my face. Hopefully this will help to kind of bronze me up a little bit more in preparation for the foundation because I, I know just looking at it, it's not gonna be the right shade. Yeah, I can't remember if this was like the only shade that they had or if not, it was like a medium shade, but it's pretty dark. All right, let's blend this out. Ooh, I feel like I need to work a little bit harder to blend it out. It's not actually that shiny. Like obviously it is when you like first start blending it out, but as you kind of work it in your skin, it does, yeah. It does just kind of give you more of like a healthy glow look. Like I know you can use some of the other, um, it does look really, oh God, it looks muddy as hell all over my face. The way, can you see here? Look at that. That is terrible. <laughs> We're gonna roll with it, because like I said, we're covering it up. Okay, so we're gonna move on to foundation. I have two. So this is the CC Cream Color Corrector, which is very, very similar to the Arborium one, even like literally down to the packaging. And then we have this one, which I feel like kind of looks like the Ordinary Foundation. I don't know if they still do that, but let's see what the shades are looking like. This one's actually in the shade Dark, but I highly doubt it's going to be any kind of deep color comes out white and then just doing a little bit of blending. Just talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so it does look quite pinky toned. So I think I am gonna go for like the ordinary foundation. I put quite a lot on my brush cause I'm like, I wanna cover whatever is going on on my face. I wanna cover that up. I want that to be gone. And oh wow, we do have coverage. <laughs> well, it is what I wanted. Look at that. Jeez. And the undertone looks okay as well. I feel like as long as I've got the undertone right, I can usually bronze it up. So that's actually not bad at all, really. This is so full coverage, oh my God. Does it, does it say it's full coverage? Coverage foundation. Should read these things sometimes, but when you get to the point, what am I trying to say? Basically, I've tried out so many products now that I just kind of roll with them. I ain't got time to read. 
I'm not. I'm not sat here for like a book club. I'm. I'm here to throw things in my face and just see if they work. Right. That needs to be like my Instagram bio or something. Just throws things on her face and hopes it works. Bruh. This actually looks kind of good. Look at that. Again, shiny. Oh my lord. I need so much powder. But yeah, this is better than I thought. Impressed with that. Didn't think I would be. Kind of ruled out the foundations to be honest. But I'm. I'm okay with this. However. I do have this concealer and I definitely, this is in the shade natural, um, which normally even on the like swatches, normally that's so pale, <laughs> that is so pale. So, okay. But I thought, don't you think this looks really similar to like Giorgio Armani packaging? I think it does. I haven't tried out. I don't know if they do a concealer like this or anything. I haven't tried it if they do, but let's try this out. I'm going to do one eye first. It's got a nice consistency. It smells kind of like vitamins. You know, you like have like a, a little tub of like vitamin C and you sniff it and it kind of smells like kind of like oranges, but also kind of like an undertone of what the hell is in that. That's what I'm getting from this. So uh, trying a little bit around my nose there. Again, the undertone is actually all right. I, I was looking at that thinking that it's just going to be white under my eyeballs. Oh. Blending out nicely, check. Consistency, check. Color, not too bad. Mini check. Coverage, good. Very good coverage. Look, look at that, oh my God, different, 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 very, just different, just different. I have no idea what Michael's doing under the table, but I'm just gonna just let him live his life really. I'm into it. I'm going out to dinner later and I was very much prepared to at least take off my base makeup and have to like redo it, but maybe I won't have to. Yeah, so let's blend it in on the macro. So you can see, like it goes a really long way. Like, why is it working this well? Okay, bit of a weird, like, what's the word? Order, brain just left the chat. A bit of a weird order, but this is the only other cream product I have. So I wanted to try this out. It's called the She Loves Charming. And that is basically all it says, but this is like a liquid blush. I guess I, is it just like a dropper? Oh wait, no, it's squeezy. Okay, so the color is like this. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to my cheeks and then I'm gonna powder down and like bronze up and everything. I'm actually gonna use this face shape brush. Okay, looks like it's got a decent bit of pigment there. It's quite pale. It's kind of giving the whole like Kylie Dior blush. But I am wondering if maybe it would work better on top of powder because I feel like it is just kind of blending out into nothing. I'm just placing it down. Now I'm going to go back in with, let's go back in with the other foundation brush, the one that I used to blend out the filter, just to kind of press that in. And you can see there's a little bit of color there. I am impressed. Dr. Pepper, by the way, Dr. one of the best drinks, honestly. And this is like full fat one as well. Buzz. Okay, we're going to move on to this super fun little powder. Again, it's not really a dupe. If it is a dupe, then please let me know in the comments but so fun, so cute, so absolutely unnecessary, but there's many things in my life that I enjoy that are highly unnecessary. So this is by the brand called Mac Andy, I think. And let me just spend the next 12 hours trying to open it up. Okay, so it's actually quite like a yellow tone powder, which is good because it might kind of help to, I don't know, just add a little bit of warmth and like color to my face to kind of match my body. Only thing I will say is that I usually like to tap my product into the lid, but I can't really do that with this one. Hmm. My newly clean desk is, now looks like I've been having a lot of fun. Anyone got a credit card? All right, let's, let's, let's try it. Looks quite finely milled. Any creasing? None. None. Well, it's super finely milled. This is all actually looking really promising. This has made my day so much better. I was having like, I'm having a good day, but a few things earlier, had a little bit of anxiety. And now, this is curing my anxiety. This is fixing everything, every problem I've ever had. It's mattifying everything down quite nicely. I need to like, higher up my macro a little bit because when I have to like look into it, I have to go like, gremlin. Yeah, it's like mattifying everything down, but not in like a chalky dry way. Around the nose, usually my problem area. Maybe a tiny bit more texture than, there's a cat hair obviously everywhere. A um, little bit more texture than the Laura Mercier powder, but the Laura Mercier powder, as we all know, is bay. Just got rid of all that shine there. Perfect. And 
it's actually, I feel like it's actually making the blush kind of pop out a little bit more. Whereas sometimes it can just like cover it up. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great. So great. Okay, we're now gonna go in with this very, very powdery. I don't know if this is like a foundation or a pressed powder or a bronzer. I actually have no idea. Like I couldn't really find too many bronzers that I hadn't tried. But I picked this up in this shade and I feel like it could work. I think it may well just be a powder. We will try it. Might just add a little bit more coverage and a little bit more warmth. But um, yeah, I didn't see what it's called. The Romantic Flower Intense Fine Pore Packed, which I believe that they are normally just like powders, but it's okay. It's like a deeper tone than my skin. So I've done that before with like pressed powders. If you want a little bit extra coverage, use like a powder foundation or something in a slightly deeper color and just pop it on your cheeks. Yeah, it'll just give you more coverage whilst also adding a little bit of dimension. That actually looks okay, considering I'm using it for not fully what it's supposed to be used for. It actually like is adding a bit of color to my face. Might not match my body completely, but I'm pretty pleased by all this. Oh yeah, you see? It's going on nicely. It's not going on patchy or it's not looking muddy. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Highlights time. So I have the Pressed Highlight and Contour um, Palette. It says Beauty Glaze. I don't know if that's the brand, but it is just a load of highlighters. And I, you guys will tell me in the comments, I'm sure. Is this like a, a dupe for like a Dior palette, potentially? I'm gonna have a look at Party Light. They do look more so kind of like eyeshadows than anything, just in the way they're like a little bit more foiled. But actually, on the skin, you see them shining there. They look pretty good. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Party Light, because the other one does just seem a little bit too silvery for me right now. It's got a top layer that you kind of need to break into a little bit. So I'm just really trying to dig into that. Shall we? We shall. Okay, it's quite glittery, but I think we can probably dust the majority of that glitter off. Are you guys still wearing highlighter, like powder highlighter? because I know it's, it's not as much of a thing now, which is really sad. Evidently, I still am. Probably will for the rest of my days. It is very kind of like eyeshadowy and does look pretty textured. Like it, it looks good in terms of the color and in terms of just how ridiculous, like in kind of a good way, like ridiculous intense it looks. I'm still choking on that powder, but I do want to blot it down just to kind of take away a little bit of that um, glitter, hopefully just kind of make it look a little bit more wet as opposed to just a huge ass stripe of shimmery stuff. Yeah, not a fan of the shimmer. Probably wouldn't opt to use this again. It's absolutely fine that if I had to use it for the rest of my life, it would be okay. But thankfully that's not the case. Um, yeah, if I had to use this, no, what am I saying? What? What, who are you? My brain just flatlined. Um, yeah, just the texture isn't really it, but it is adding a nice little glow now that I've like patted it down. Okay, we're now gonna go in with the like potential dupe for MAC. Uh, this is their Stay Glow Fix Plus. And even down to like the branding on the bottle looks very similar. Now I'm hoping this doesn't give me a repeat of the Revolution Spray from like years back. Doesn't seem to be making me look overly glittery or anything. Good. All right, let's settle this down. It's actually got a really, really nice mister. Okay, okay, smells pretty good. Very, very faint smell, but let's see how that looks in a second. I now think I'm gonna go in with my lips. I'm gonna go in with this little set that I got here. It's by a brand called Ushas, Ushas? Don't know, uh, but it's the Matte Lips 2-in-1 Lipstick and Liner, and I got it in the shade 05, whatever that is. It's kind of like a, yeah, like a mauve rose kind of shade. And you know the drill, if I want to lighten it up a little bit, a little bit of concealer, just there, sorts it right out. So yeah, we've got the lip liner. It actually looks like quite a nice color. It reminds me of my, here's one I prepared earlier, uh, the 17 lip liner that I'm obsessed with. Like it's a bit different, but do you see where I'm kind of going with that? It, they actually look totally different on camera, but uh, yeah, like that's literally one of my favorite lip liners. So hopefully this will look all right. Pretty pigmented as well. It's actually really easy to use. It's like a nice combination of like waxy and creamy. So you've got a bit of control, but it's also, you're not like scratching at your lips just to get anything out. Definitely a pun there about scratching at your lips. Uh, 
If that's the case, uh, Canis and Duo. I got your back. I like it a lot. That's actually a really, really nice color. And now we're gonna go in with the lipstick. So I assume it's literally like the same kind of shade as the lip liner. Let's do it here. Yeah, just looks like a slightly lighter shade than the lip liner. If anything, it actually don't, no, again, it doesn't. I was gonna say it kind of looks like the 17 lip liner. Again, absolutely does not really. Now I'm looking closer at it, but it still looks nice. And it's pigmented and it smells kind of like fruits. Not sure which fruit, but makes you feel, you know, mildly healthy. Such a really nice lip color. My lip line is <laughs> so uneven, so I need to sort that out. But the color, the texture, quite nice. That's a really nice lip color, actually. I'm very, very happy with that. It's all going to plan. Actually, it's not going to plan at all. I thought it was gonna be terrible, but it is going well. I'm buzzing. Okay, a couple more products to try out. I have this palette here. Can anyone guess what this is trying to dupe right now? Uh, the Huda Beauty, what's it called? I forget what it's called, but you know, you know the one I mean. This one did smash a little bit. We've got, I don't know if you can see, a little pan coming loose there. I think I'm gonna do something, don't hate me, kind of neutral, but maybe with like a shimmer. That celestial shade actually looks really, really good. It's like a nice, like, cool tone copper shade. Let's put it over my little tattoo there. Can you even see it? Yeah, nice little shade. They feel pretty good as well. So I'm gonna swatch a couple of the colors that I know I'm not gonna use. We've got Eden, which is like a yellow gold. We'll swatch Twilight, which is the bright matte pink. Looks a bit chalky, but actually like the pigment is there. Let's do Turkish Delight. Again, a little bit chalky, but very, very pigmented. And one more shimmer. Let's go in with Blood Moon. The shimmers look really good. Look at that. Would you look at that? Just so it's got something to stick to. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the shade Angelic on a big fat fluffy brush. Very dusty. Okay, noted. Please don't fall out all over my face. And I'm gonna really work that into my crease. I think I'm gonna go for, well, it's actually really pigmented. Um, something fairly neutral, but like I said, with like a pop of shimmer on my lid. Depending on how I'm feeling, might even add a bit of the black into the mix and do like a halo eye with the black. I might like mix it with this brown shade here because I'm actually really liking this. That's actually going on really, really nicely. Recently, I don't know what it is on my face, but my eyeshadow has just not been hitting the same way that it used to. But that has actually blended out so nicely. I'm really, really impressed. Is this actually going to be a win? Am I able, like, am I going to be able to just like go out to dinner without really doing anything else to my face? Because it's kind of looking like that. Shall I just risk it with the black? I mean, I kind of am. I'm gonna mix it with the angelic shade and really tap the hell out of it because I do not want any fallout. In fact, I might even get a little puff just to, just to pray. Hope it doesn't fall out everywhere. Just lay down the majority of the product to begin with. This is a little bit awkward, but needs must. Yeah, no real fallout yet. There's like one piece. That's okay, I can deal with that. Probably gonna do a little bit more blending around here, but I'm pretty happy with that so far. So, I now think I'm either gonna take the shade Amber, I might take that shade, oh, but Oud also looks good, even though it's broken. Yeah, I wanna go in with Oud actually. Just wipe that bit off. Uh, this shade, the one that's broken, it's like a bit more of a rose gold tone. I normally go for something a bit more champagne-y. Let's see what this is gonna be like. I'm just gonna literally take the Old Faithful middle finger, there is no mirror in this palette, and slap it right on the center. That is foiled. Oh my God, that actually looks so good. It On the lid though, it does look a little bit more golden as opposed to more of like a peachy undertone, which is how it looks in the pan, but damn. So I'm gonna take retrograde and hope that it doesn't come out looking too pinky in a corner of that sheet. Nice, 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 nice. And then brow bone it. Really seriously not mad at these eyeshadows. Like I'm actually, it's not that I'm not mad. I'm actually just quite impressed. You know, obvious blatant rip off like the majority of all these products are that I'm using. But I am happy. I really don't think I'm gonna be taking anything off. Might add some fake freckles, might add a little bit of contour or something, but otherwise, yeah. Okay, so last but not least, before I even myself up, I'm gonna go in with this mascara here, which is literally called, uh, like the brand name, which is a Stella uh, Stack. It's a copy of the MAC Stack <laughs> uh, mascara. The wand looks pretty similar too. Let's give it a wiggle. Doesn't seem to be like gripping at my lashes that much. Bit of a red flag. 
this might be a double or triple coat here. Like it looks like natural enough and like kind of nice, but it's not doing what we want. Especially when I've got this sort of eye look. I want lashes. I want flick. Give it a good old wiggle in. This makeup's looking really good right now, not gonna lie. I'm going to do the other side of my face, do the other eye, all that jazz, like I said. Might add a little bit more mascara so if I come back with like chunky looking lashes, you know why. But yeah, I'm gonna go do the other eye. And honestly, right now I'm just, I'm just gassed at how good this actually kind of looks. Okay, gonna do the other eye. See you in literally like 0.2 seconds. Okay, my friends, this is the finished look. Still actually bloody obsessed. Like, honestly, it looks like I've used some of the products that I use every single day, but no, it's just Teemu makeup. So yeah, I mean, if I, you know, had the products from Teemu, I would add a little bit of a wing, which I still might before I go out. I might add some falsies, probably can't be bothered to be honest, but everything else, I really, really love it. Like you can see the um, setting spray, by the way, has given my skin a lot of glow, maybe a touch too much. I might add a little bit more powder just like in the center of my face. But yeah, either way, I'm very, very impressed. I think one of my favorite products I use today has to be the foundation because I do feel like I underestimated it a lot and it actually really seriously came through. I really like the eyeshadow palette and I really like the little lip combo as well, the little lip duo, really, really into that. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the time. You know what I just said. And uh, yeah, let me know what other brands you guys want me to try out. If you do want me to do more teamy makeup, let me know. Like I said, I know some people love it, some people hate it. So just let me know and I'll see kind of like what the general consensus is. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I love you and I will see you, you. You, yes you. Uh, uh, just almost banged my head on my microphone then. Uh, in the next one. Love you, bye.